Look at each other eyes strong. You let the fighter guide you. Watch always eye of the tiger, always moving. Chimichiwa, exciting, keep it lively. Always keep it lively, entertain. So the fighter enjoy and come back next day. Okay, so right now we, we use two focus mists to practice. We don't tell, we just signal. So they have to be ready. They always have to be the guard ready, awareness. And because at any moment they could either hit or get hit. <laughs> Um, it's great because we work with a variation of different instructors, always keep it moving and everyone's got their own technique so it keeps on your toes. Move! And it's good too because as a trainer we get to see that there's people at all different levels. Beginner, intermediate, advanced, really advanced fighter. And so it helps us to start to read them. And as a beginner, I go slow and then um, Asan Samin hits me and then I distract someone else and I copy him as well. So. Very good drill. Very good drill. Hey. Uh -huh. Time! Hey. 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 Let's go. Hey. I don't know what to say. I am working on helping them use their defenses. So I have one boxing glove on my left and one focus mitt on my right. I keep this available at all times so a fighter can hit it, whatever they want, and we attack so they can sharpen their defenses. Good drill. It's they're actually fighting so they know where to pick the, uh, find the pocket and how to counter. So it's good, good pad work. Uh, I have the leg pad over here. Always keep available for their right roundhouse kick. Belly shield in case they want to teep. I have the uh, single tie pad for them to just freestyle on this and then the focus mitt. Um, what I notice is this is a good drill because it helps them to use all of their weapons. This pad you see, you don't have to tell what to do. This is good for the students to drill technique together. You never use the tie pad for the students because they can get hurt. This one we do on Monday because it's not so heavy. You don't have to work so hard. Just the technique, just light, so you don't tight yourself. And then you can't walk on Tuesday. You don't come back on Wednesday. So this is a Monday program. It's Cobra Shield. It's one of the best equipment that I've ever used. <laughs> So yeah, uh, Master Tai's pad work is, uh, it allows the student to figure out uh, figure out where they're supposed to hit and where the targets are. Because in a fight, uh, no one's going to let you throw a one, two, three kick in a fight. So uh, it's more realistic that way. They can actually move and uh, they learn through pad work. Um, they get more fight experience without as many fights. Do the type of pad work that we do. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Fun but tiring. <laughs> Can I post them? <laughs> and as a trainer, sometimes you know you're so stuck, you're so robotic. You hit the one, you hit the two, you hit the hook, and then roundhouse. But we can't do that because then we stifle their power and we make them do our style. That's not what we do here at Master Toddy's. Here, Master Toddy teaches you how to break down the techniques and the movements so that we can help develop the fighter. It's not about the pad holder, it's about the fighter. The fighter has to learn how to move, how to punch. In a real life situation, if we teach them punch number one, punch five, punch number five, cobra, kick, teeth, you know, then they will not know what to do. They won't know how to think on their own. They won't have, like, like Master Toddy says, they, they can't use their common sense because their trainer prevented them from learning how to use their common sense. That's an awesome drill because there's no instruction, so you just have to work on your own timing and choose which weapon to find on your own. Because in a fight, nobody's going to tell you. And that's what it's all about. When I came here... Oh! I thought I knew so much. But after seeing one whole week of just from the ground, like a baby, I felt like a baby again because all the techniques broken down.
Nit noy, nit noy. Get better. Slowly, progressively. And I think the one thing that I will take away from here is remember how to be a student first. You learn from everything. Not too much of this. Too much of this, uh, it's not good because then you lose yourself in it. So when you teach nit noy, nit noy, little, 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 and then everything opens up, your whole world opens up. Now I see, now I think, I think I'm not teaching them. They're teaching me, they teach themselves. They teach themselves, I just guide. Uh, Master Toddy's way of teaching my stra the teach the strategy he taught me, step one. You stay here, you feel, and I learn to feel. My body remembers, my body remembered the motion, and then march, and then punch, and then always remember. Instead of talking, 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 you just touch, 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 and then after punch number one, then the next punch. Have to do the same thing, stay, 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 try it, try it, and then third punch. After the third punch, you let the student just go, and they try it. Uh, they get a little bit frustrated at first, but eventually they pick it up and then what happens is They enjoy it and then when they enjoy it and they don't get hurt and they don't feel bad when you say no, 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 no You know when when the instructor always say no, no, no fix this fix that then they don't enjoy They can't enjoy it and guess what they're not gonna come again the next day. So the way Master Tardy showed me on the punching and, and, and how to instruct the punching it makes the student want to come back again because they learn it but the most important thing is they enjoy it themselves learn uh, the training uh, enjoyable I love this fighter enjoy and come back next day I love Muay Thai this is why I love Muay Thai it's just so much fun always like this <laughs> come to this gym because this is the best gym ever best gym in the world and I love it here I love training here I love everyone here